When tin mining ended in the Real Jane area, all entrances to the mine workings were sealed to contain the build-up of water. In January 1992, part of the system for containing this water failed, releasing millions of gallons of contaminated water into the Carnan River. Welcome to Wheel Jane Mine Water Treatment Plant. Mine water is pumped to the surface using up to seven pumps, which are located about 60 metres down Wheel Jane shaft number two. This begins the process of removing the contaminants in the water. The number of pumps operating at any one time depends on the amount of water in the shaft. Looking down the shaft, you will get a feeling for how far the water has to be pumped up to the surface. Each of the pumps hang on the black hoses you can see at the surface of the shaft. The pumps are secured with clamps on the platform over the shaft. The station which controls the pumps is just next to the top of the shaft. The hoses are connected to a larger pipe which splits into two sections, each feeding one half of the treatment plant. The mine water is crystal clear when it is pumped up to the surface. It is hard to believe there is so much contamination in it, mainly being dissolved metals due to the acidity of the water. The next stage of the process takes place in the reaction chamber. Lime slurry is added here to raise the pH level of the water. This is a very important part of the process of removing the dissolved metals from the water. In the reaction chamber, as well as adding lime to the water, air is also mixed into the liquid. It is blown in through a pipe at the bottom of the tank. This can be seen underneath the large propeller-like blade in the tank, which thoroughly mixes the tank contents. Lime powder is fed via a screw feed into a mixer tank where it is added to water taken from our clean water discharge to make a lime slurry. It is then stored in a holding tank ready for use. Lime is delivered to the site in powder form by road tanker. During periods of high rainfall, as many as three 25-tonne deliveries are required per week to ensure continued treatment of mine water. The contents of the reaction chamber, which by now looks like watery sludge, is taken by a connecting pipe to the clarifiers. This is the final stage of the treatment process. A liquid chemical polymer, which helps to bind all the solids together, is added during the transfer. Polymer enters the process here. Turbulence in the pipe mixes the contents together, so that by the time the water emerges into the clarifier, flocculation is occurring. This is the term used to describe the process by which the solids bind together, leaving clear water behind. The metal contamination is contained within the solids. The solids quickly settle out in the clarifier and collect at the bottom as sludge. The lamella plates that can be seen help the settling process. 
This leaves clean and clear water to flow over the launder channels before flowing safely into the Clemo stream. So, what does polymer look like? It is a clear, thick liquid and the polymer's strong chemical bond is demonstrated here. As the beaker is tipped and then returned, it continues to discharge, even though the contents are well below the beaker's lip. Some of the high-density sludge produced during the treatment process is recirculated back to the pre-reaction chamber to help start the treatment process again. The sludge collected in the clarifier that is not recirculated is periodically drawn off and pumped to a sludge holding tank. When this is full, it is pumped up to the tailings dam for long-term storage. The average temperature of the water after treatment is about 18 degrees Celsius. If the ambient air temperature drops below about 5 degrees Celsius, vapour can be seen rising from the open shafts, the final effluent chamber and the stream. The final effluent chamber is where water quality samples are taken. This is also the point at which the treated water leaves the site to join the Clemo stream. Some of the water is also removed for washing down and for mixing the lime on site.